can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Do I look beat up? Because I got the crap kicked out of me with my predictions. Uh, wow, Machida was not very elusive. He got knocked out. Hua, Hua, Hua looked good. Hua looked a very good. Long way from fighting Forrest Griffin in his first fight in the UFC. Long way. And it's good. I like Machida. Sorry, Machida, he got knocked bloop, out. But I'm psyched. Because this, this then puts a very sweet mashup, a little uh, Anderson Silva, who a matchup? No Black House versus Black House problem now, fellas? Shall we make this happen? I say, da! Kashek did what I said he was going to do. Daily is crazy. Way to knock yourself right out of the UFC. What an idiot. What was that worth? The Simtech blew up in his own hand. He didn't throw the grenade. He held onto it and he went, boom! Meltdown. Brutal. The fact that Paul Daly sucker punched Josh Koscheck after that fight tells me a lot more about Josh Koscheck than it does about Paul Daly. Josh Koscheck is a deplorable, disgraceful, abhorrent human being and fighter. He's a pockmark on the face of the UFC. In fact, he is the Edward James Olmos of mixed martial arts. Yet he's constantly declaring, I am a complete mixed martial artist. Yet you're a complete disgrace to mixed martial arts because he constantly disrespects his opponents, the fans, and the sport as a whole. And yet Dana White endorses him. Dana White supports him. Dana White gives him a title shot. Dana White lets him be a coach on The Ultimate Fighter. Who wants to watch that? This guy is a terrible actor. He's shown himself to be a fraud, a cheat in the ring, a scumbag, a guy who disrespects again everyone that he fights who has a sense of entitlement who seems to think that he deserves something which I'll tell you what Josh Koscheck has beat a bunch of mediocre fighters and has never beaten a top tier fighter this guy is 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 an embarrassment to the sport Koscheck obviously is a jerk and a gamer and continues to be loved by no one Daly is a punk which one's worse well, cost check, obviously. Way to go, Jay Leno. Freaking atomic drop. Cote to the face and then choked him out. That was pretty sweet. That guy. Come on, Anderson Silva. I guess that's what you got to do, but I don't see him standing with him. But hey, whatever. I don't pick fights, obviously. I get them all wrong. Uh, I'm itchy. I went tanning. I got burnt. That's what I do. Not tanning. I went to Florida for vacation. Mr. Belcher, I would like to formally apologize for betting against you over and over and over again. I hope to never make the same mistake again. Unless you fight Anderson Silva, in which case I'll probably bet against you and I'll probably be wrong then too. Salute. Sam Stout and Jeremy Stevens. I'm a big fan of both those guys. That was a great fight. Dude, uh, those guys are nuts. As Joe Rogan would say, rock them, sock them robots. That was a great, great fight. I'd like to see that fight again. Steven Stout, best fight of the night. One of those almost impossible, don't want to be a judge's fights. First round, obvious Stevens. Last round, obvious Stout. Whichever judge had all three rounds for Stevens, BS. Uh, but it was one of those ones I didn't know how I felt about it until they made the call. And I either would have been happy or sad. And I was like, okay, right one. They did it. Well done. Kimbo with the fucking rock and the skullet. The, he, you know, him and Ben Franklin. Only two guys I know that could really rock the skullet like he does. But, uh, yeah, he's... He's just too gas. He's gassed out. Dude, how do you gas out that quick? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not sure if they're just not training the same or if everybody's getting the BJ syndrome where they just don't think they need to train enough, but I felt like UFC 113 was a lot of gassing. Um, th like, everybody was gassing at some point, and it, it was strange because... You know, when you're going into a fight, you kind of assume that these guys understand that it's it potentially could go all three rounds or five rounds, depending on your title shot. And it, I noticed that every single fighter um, at UFC 113 was gassing. You know, they were breathing heavy. They were bringing out of their mouths in the first round, Machida. Um, 
Kimbo Slice's Meltdown was by far my favorite because that guy has no business in, in the octagon. Um, but it just, it was strange, you know? I, I'm wondering what happened and why, maybe it's the altitude. I've never been to Quebec, so I have no idea what it's like over there. It just, I don't know, it threw me. Sam Stout can't finish a Supreme Burrito, but he's got cardio for days. Third round, mouth closed. The only person who didn't gas, I think, Katie, was Mr. Stout. Again, Kimbo, done in the first round. Mitrione, pretty much, <laughs> but the second round, managed to whoop some ass. Well done, Matt. Well done, Meathead. Uh, and, it, yeah, Lawler basically lost exactly the same way he lost his last fight, trying to finish on a TKO opportunity and gassed himself. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't fight. I don't pick fights. I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. And I have to say I was a fan of UFC 113. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got this time. Suckers. Woo -woo. I'm out.